Hey guys, it's Anna. Um, I'm here today with like a different type of video kind of, I guess. My hair looks so crazy. Um, but yeah, so I'm in my bedroom. I just kind of wanted to do a different style looking video to show kind of how I style some of my favorite pieces. Um, this one I'm gonna focus, there's something on my lip. <laughs> this video, I just wanted to focus on some of my favorite mostly thrifted finds. Um, but you guys, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm obsessed obsessed with anything that's like velvet or like velour so I want to just kind of do like a really informal just like relaxed type talk through of a lookbook with some of my velvet pieces and how I really style my velvet stuff um, so I guess I will start just by showing you some of my favorite things these are just some of my all-time favorite thrifted not just thrifted, but velvet pieces that I have. So I have a lot, but this is just some of them. So the first thing is obviously that I show like all the time. I always talk about these. It's just my blue velvet booties. I freaking love these so much. I got these from DSW forever ago. It'd be like a year ago, two years ago. I don't know, but I love them. They're like a blue, really nice blue velvet and then they have kind of like a brown detail in it and then this part right here that's like looser is like the stretchy part of it i definitely show these in a video i just love these people love them when they see them on me so i'm just really happy i got them and i think i only paid like maybe 13 15 dollars for them so the first outfit is really going to be surrounding these and everything else is thrifted so that's the only one that i got from a store and then i have this black shirt it's just like a black this might not show the best but just a black velvet shirt. I mean, I've shown all of these in like thrift hauls that I've done, so you probably have already seen it. But I really like the cowl neck that it has, and it's actually an anthropology um, shirt. So it's just all the way plain black, so there's that one. And then there's this dress, which I'm obsessed with. I don't think the color is showing up well on the camera, but it's just a maxi dress, and it's all the way velvet all the way down, and it's just an emerald green. I'm st Oh, I just burped. I'm still not sure which way this is supposed to be worn, if this is the front or if this v-neck part is the front because the tag's right there, which is really weird, but I'm going to wear, I think, the v-neck as the front. Not sure yet. And I have this really pretty royal purple velvet blazer. I just love this so much. I don't really wear it that much. I don't even think I've worn it yet since I got it, and I've had it for a while, um, but it's an express um, blazer. I think it's so pretty. And so the last thing that I'm going to do an outfit around is just this really pretty velvet kind of like clutch purse. It's just all the way velvet. It's actually a Lord & Taylor purse. And then inside of it, it has like a quilted strap. And look, clearly I still have not even carried it at all because it still has the tag attached. This is the Lord & Taylor um, little tag. So I guess maybe I should cut this off and like just leave it inside the purse. Let me know in the comments below and like this video if you guys enjoy how it come how it came out. Let me know if you kind of enjoy this more informal type of lookbook to do. It's just a lot easier on me. I don't have to like worry so much about like the camera and like the focus and everything. We just like do it. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get going. I'm excited to do this because I love these pieces and I haven't worn some of them yet. And I just kind of, this is gonna be exciting for me to like put the outfits together for them, so. Yeah. Okay, so this is just the first outfit. It just looks like this. I just have this really pretty like maroon knit like sweater dress on and then I paired it <laughs> with this like maroon type necklace just so that it's really matchy with the rest of the outfit. And then I like like how bodycon-ish the dress is. And then usually since, or when it is colder out, I would wear black tights underneath this, but it's a little warmer today, so. Just thought I would do like this. And then obviously I have the velvet boots on. And then I would compare, I would consider this to be more of like a winter look. So I am gonna pair it with another jacket that I did get thrifted. So this is just the black jacket. It's actually a J. Crew. It's like a J. Crew, just like pea coat type thing. I guess I could have like picked up my rug for this, but so yeah, I would just pair it with like this. And then kind of like whatever bag I'm carrying or whatever, but I think it looks really nice and like put together. It does look a little bit more dressy, I think, like this, but I think it's really pretty. You guys probably cannot see my shoes. Can you maybe see the shoes now? A little bit. So yeah, I really like this. And if I wanted to like dress it up 
like for if I was like going maybe out like out on the town I think it's so funny when people say that if I was going like out on the town I would probably swap out this jack hut and change it and put on like a leather jacket which I have on but for this outfit with the velvet I just really like it I like the pop of like the difference in colors because everything is so matchy matchy up top and then black just goes with everything and then the blue and the velvet make it really stand out for the shoes and so again this is just the top of it it's just like the first outfit I really like it Okay, and then for the second outfit, I just went with the Velvet Anthropology top, and I just matched it with this really pretty, just very simple, plain bodycon black skirt. And then I've added on these shoes that I got from DSW literally forever ago. I don't even know, like, I guess I'll include the brands for stuff, like, down in the description box, but, like, off the top of my head, after I already have them on my feet, after I already have them on my feet, I just don't remember what the brand was so there's that though but I really like how put together this looks and then I just put my hair in like a low ponytail which I usually wear my ponytails like kind of to the side like this I don't know I just like it like that but this outfit I feel like is really pretty this is like a work outfit it's like really nice put together sophisticated type outfit for work but it's like I still know how to dress I still know how to like look fashionable and I can still have fun like I love it. So, fix the shirt a little bit. Like this, with the hair a little bit on the side. Yeah. But this is why doing lookbooks and stuff is like so difficult for me. I just like have no real like space to do it. I have no one to help me. So, this just makes it a lot easier. So, that's what the shoes and everything look like. Am I showing the shoes even? And so, like I said, since this still, I just feel like velvets are really nice for, like, winter. I feel like they're more of a winter type thing. So, since it might be a little bit chillier, or especially, like, if this is, like, a night type dinner outfit, I would throw on a jacket. So, I'm just throwing on this, like, really dark brown, almost black looking leather jacket. It's by Guess, but I actually got it from a consignment store. I think in, like, was it in Delaware? I think in Delaware or Maryland. But so I would throw this on. I really like like the flap of like the neck. And so it looked like that all the way put together. I'll try to maybe take pictures of all the outfits too and include them um, on my Instagram, Miss My Luck 91. So if you're not following me on there, follow me on my Instagram so that you can see all of the outfits. But so yeah, with the jacket, this is more what it would look like. like that <laughs> okay next one okay and so here's the next outfit it's literally just the green dress I think like it does look a little bit boxy on me for some reason it's just not as tight as I would like it to be but what are you gonna do um so I just kept my hair I guess in a ponytail for now and see I wore it with the v-neck in the front and then it just goes low it does kind of hit me at like an awkward length I feel but if you match it with like these like chunkier boots or like chunkier shoes on the bottom I feel like it's kind of okay like if you were to pair it with um kind of more like form fitting like slimmer shoes I feel like it would look a little bit more awkward but these again were from I think DSW a while ago not sure the brand but I will include it in the description box so yeah I got these on super sale too a long time ago, a while ago. So, yeah, so here's the dress. So I'm just keeping my hair like this with the shoes. And then I would actually, though, to just kind of go with it some more, I think I would add this on there. But so if I added this shirt, though, I would take my hair down because otherwise it looks a little too put together. So, yeah, to give it just like a little bit more oomph, I'm just going to add this like shirt on top. It's like a really, really lightweight. It kind of looks like a de denim shirt, but it's just... It's not. It looks like it though. But so this is actually thrifted. I showed it in one of my thrift hauls as well. Um, but so I would just throw this on. I guess you could leave it loose, like flowing like this, but I just feel like it makes me look too chunky. So I actually am just going to add this belt on. It's just black with the gold accents to match the boots exactly. Because I was going to wear like a black one with um, like a silver buckle, but I was like, nah, son, that's not happening. So. I want to just kind of bring this in a little bit. 
I think I'm gonna leave it open. Maybe I'll button one or two buttons, yeah? To close like a couple of them, but then leave this like really like casual, flowing, just like no effort type look. And then we'll tighten this belt a little bit. So, yeah, so then it kind of cinches it in a little bit. And then with the hair down, it doesn't look so like I'm trying to be put together. It just looks like effortlessly, like I just threw this together. But I really did. I really like this outfit, actually. I am in love with this skirt or this dress. Now, like I said, if you have like an awkward hitting you like dress, like it hits you at an awkward angle, length on your leg I would just pair it with like chunkier shoes because then it looks just better to me I don't know because otherwise it goes like to a really thin teeny tiny point which I don't think is as nice It'd be easier to just show it like this but so yeah it would look a little bit better if like my hair wasn't so flat and like stuck looking it was just like kind of a bit more thrown around tousled but not like I just fell out of a moving vehicle would be nice let me know though if you guys like this video, like the style of the video. It's a little, it's a lot less like, I don't know, like, I don't know what word I'm looking for right now. It's just a lot less serious. It's a little bit more like casual laid back, just me like putting the outfits together and just like seeing what works, what doesn't work. So yeah, because I've just always, I really want to all the time do like thrifted lookbook videos too and it just it's just so hard for me to do so this just makes things like a little bit easier and I can still kind of show you guys how I put together the outfits with some of the stuff that I find because I feel like sometimes I find stuff and people are just like how are you gonna wear that um and I think that sometimes too so this is nice I can finally like put outfits together with everything so yeah like me let me know if you guys like this kind of video in the comments below if you did enjoy it too give it a thumbs up that would be nice if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so that you can see when I post more videos and so for this next look I'm going to be featuring like the velvet blue purse this velvet blue purse I did put my little pink palm in there it has gold hardware on it but that's all right. And so this is a different day. Obviously my makeup looks a little bit different. I got like little dots happening. You can see them. And then I'm actually wearing ColourPop matte lipstick. Yeah, on my lips. It's just this one, it is in Kapow. It's like a really nice, like kind of grayish mauve color. I don't know colors. But so that's what I have on my lips today for this look. All right, so here's the outfit first. Just the whole outfit. I've shown this dress a couple times, but it's because it's like one of my all-time favorite things ever. Um, it is just this gray. It's kind of like got like darker knitted throughout it, I guess. I don't know, but it's like a t-shirt material. I actually thrifted it, but it's by the brand Express. I have a little poofy. I'm like bloated. And then my hair is just curly today. And then I matched it with um, these necklaces that I actually made myself. So this is actually two separate necklaces. I have a shorter one and then a longer one. I just decided to layer them up today for this look. And then I have my over the knee boots from Public Desire, which I love. I did show these in a haul as well. These are my obsession. These are in the color gray. I do still really wanna buy them in black, but we'll see if that actually happens. They are kind of pricey because they are from the UK, but I love these, they fit so nicely. They're like actually tight to like my whole leg, but not like so tight where it's like cinching all my chunkies on my thigh. This, like poof up my hair a little bit, yeah? So that's what the whole outfit looks like. Love it. And this I think would be more for like going out, maybe like a dinner or even going out to like the club, I guess, but love it. Might be a little bit better like this so you can actually see. You just can't see my bugs. But and then since this is kind of like um I would guess like a colder weather type outfit, I would just throw on like a leather jacket with this. This is just a black leather jacket. Um just kind of throw this on over it. And this is actually thrifted as well. I thrifted this like forever ago. Obsessed with this jacket. Oh, oh. I'm gonna break my shoes. The only thing is these shoes do kind of fall down a little bit, but I feel like that's like all boots kind of. So there's that with like the jacket and my hair looking crazy. And then to finish it off, I have the velvet like navy blue purse. You can wear it like this, but I feel like that's weird because it like crosses like over my chest really weird. So for this one, I would probably just wear it like this. 
and then it has my little pink poof on there and I actually couldn't attach the poof to anything specifically so I just attached it to like the wallet that I would carry in here so the wallet that I have in here is just this Rebecca Minkoff one and then it's just attached usually I would attach like the keys to there and have this attached like right there but just for the sake of the video I'd put it in the purse just leave it hanging out like that again here is the full outfit with like the jacket on over top and then look at my little poof sometimes i hate having the poof on this side because then like when you walk sometimes it looks like it's like on your butt so it should be on the other side so it's like in the front but it's all right so there's the purse it's just like a really pretty velvet and then again with my boots and I will definitely include all of the pictures for all of the outfits, not only on probably both of my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on there so you can see the pictures of all the outfits as well. Okay, and so here is the outfit with the velvet jacket, if I can get in the mirror. Um, so this is just the purple velvet jacket, and then I have on a Fashion Nova lace-up bodysuit underneath. And then, oh my god, my mirror is kind of weirdly, it's like not dirty, but it is. But so, then I just have some leggings that have a little bit of like a design on them, so they kind of look grayish, kind of, sort of. And then I have on just my Sam Edelman like over the knee boots. I love these, got them from DSW. The leggings are actually from Kohl's like a while ago, maybe like last year. Um, they're some of my favorite leggings though. And then obviously the velvet blazer is thrifted. And then I just have on the same makeup though. I keep putting the camera in like so many different places, so funny. Um, but so yeah, so here is the velvet blazer that's thrifted and then the Fashion Nova bodysuit underneath. Um, I would probably wear this outfit if I was like going out with like my friends. Ooh, it's a little tight right there. If I was like going out with my friends but I still wanted something to like make me like really stand out and still like sexy but like kind of put together at the same time. Obsessed with the velvet, it's getting really hot in this right now. And so yeah, so here's just the Fashion Nova bodysuit. You know the bodysuit just looks like this without that so like if it gets I feel like I guess if it like gets really hot or something you just take it off. It's gonna show us the whole outfit a little bit better. So this is what it looks like without the jacket on and I hauled this Fashion Nova bodysuit so I don't know which like what the name of it was or anything but this is what it looks like. It's just the plain lace-up. It's like the jersey material. It's really, really comfortable, but I feel really hot in it, weirdly. So there's just that without the jacket. Then I'll put the jacket back on. So there's with the jacket back on, just like that. I'm trying to show you guys the boots. I've shown these boots like so many times. I've posted pictures of them on my Instagram and I did put them in like my shoe collection, my boots collection, so they're in there too. So that is all of my velvet outfits for this time around. Definitely let me get, let me guys. Definitely you guys let me know in like the comments below and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, I will definitely try to do some more of these. Kind of like, I feel like they're a lot less pressured videos, but I do want to show you guys a lot more often how I style some of the pieces that I get, a lot of my thrifted pieces, because sometimes I buy stuff just to see if it's going to work, and then, I don't know, I just need to put the outfits together, and I want to show you guys that you can find some really nice stuff at the thrift store and put together really nice outfits. Um, so let me know if you like it this style more than me trying to do like a legit like type lookbook. Those are so much harder for me to do. Uh, and probably as I go through and edit this video, I'll see like maybe where the best place for me to put the camera is and everything. But so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, if you enjoyed this. And you can see when I post some more hauls and some more lookbooks. If you want to see some more pictures of these outfits, as well as two of my Instagrams, I do have dose. Um, so the first one is Miss My Luck 91. That's really where I put everything with my YouTube on it. And then my personal one is just Miss My Luck, so you can follow me on there. But until the next video, bye guys!